Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone from all over the world. So, I have this one for free. Ultrasonic cleaner, but never worked. They sent me a failed piece. Well, I troubleshoot. I spent quite a lot of time. So, 10, 11, 12, 1, 4 hours today to fix that. The problem I can tell you so, so this is ground, this is ground. So, a hundred fifteen volts, a hundred twenty volts pass through a common mode choke, and then common mode choke pass a step down transformer, and pass a full bridge rectifier regulate from one twenty volts to. 10 volts. So see this one with heat sink. This is a linear regulator. I regulate 10 volts to 5 volts to power this board. Also to drive those relays. Those relays are 5 volts relay. But remember, so each side needs a 5 volts 60 milliamp to drive the relay. Why? Because it energizes a coil, then move the relay, boom, boom, boom. So remember this. So the problem is it never worked. When I hit that button, okay, hear that sound, relay. So that's for the heating element. But there are two ultrasonic uh, heads. So that's to control those two. And I will buzz like that. I mean, you shouldn't let it on for too long time because there's no water. So the load is high. So then I troubleshoot down to here, the control board. Control board got four lines. The first one with uh, marking, the red marking is a five volts. The last one is a zero volts or return. The other is on off. To control this one, actually control this relay. This relay is a heating element. The other one is on off to control that relay. It's for the buzzing circuits. Forget about those. You can measure those. But I found, okay, this small PMP transistor failed. When you measure the emitter, Emitter this one, this line to base, you should see 0 0.7 volts, something like that. But this one is infinity, so it's dead. I got a new one, you can get any any similar one. Mine is too big. So SOT23 package. Then I try to turn on, nothing happened. Then I measure the voltage over there. To control the five volts relay is low, so. But when I disconnect, use my uh, benchtop power supply to control this board is five volts without a load. That means when there's a load, because inside the relay there's a coil, you need the current to drive the coil. So this one, I I check the relay with my benchtop power supply, put a five volts, and needs a sixty milliamp. So to increase the driving current, you can change the base register. Actually, this is a R8. R8 here, you see, you see here? This is I solder, it's a 601 small package. It's 1K, old value is 10K. I removed the 10K because 10K gave you less base current then the output current from through here is low. That's why when they hook to here, you try to turn on because it's kind of uh, overloaded. So it's like uh, you can think of five volts output go to ground, oh, huge current, and then you get a very low voltage, no longer five volts. Here's the same thing. You couldn't drive that load so you see the voltage 
second. Uh, it's second stay at lower voltage. So it increased uh, the base current by reducing the base resistor from 10K to 1K. Voila! Enjoy the rest of the day, folks. Bye.